Now, here's um, a question that people very often ask me about, and that's grooming. Um, grooming is more than just going to an image consultant. Image consultants are very, very helpful and useful so that you know to bring out the best in you. The clothes, the colors, hair, makeup, those are great. Um, but grooming goes a little bit more than that. It, because grooming is not just for you, it is also about your brand, it creates perceptions. And so being well-groomed does not need to cost a lot of money. So here are some tips about being well-groomed. Being well-groomed means always being clean and tidy because it gives the perception that you're a together kind of person and that you will deliver your business well. So what do you do when you're out on the road a lot and you're hot and sweaty and you're going to many places? Shower often if you can, many times during the day if you have to. Um, if you can't, keep wet wipes handy. They are really helpful uh, to help you freshen up and they're inexpensive. Just keep some with you and they'll freshen you up on a hot day. If you're in doubt about dress code of where you're going, it is better to dress formally as it inspires more confidence. Okay, even if you're out of place, maybe if you've layered, if you've worn a jacket, you can take the jacket off. But if you have dressed down and other people have dressed formally, then it makes you look a little bit um, of less capability. So it's always better to dress slightly more informally, more formally than informally. Always choose clothes that are comfortable so that you're not pulling at them or pushing at them. You know, when you're comfortable, then you, you feel great to, to be natural. And actually, the best kind of clothes to be in are those that you've forgotten because you're just comfortable in them and you can focus on your conversation doing what else you want to do. Generally for work, um, it is good to avoid colors that are too attention getting like fluorescent colors or neon colors. Those, those are fine for accessories. Uh, bright colored accessories are fine to pick something up but always tone down with a muted shade or something a little bit more solid to give um, a feeling of, of confidence. Hair should always look tidy as well if you want to look competent. Uh, somehow, you know, when hair looks untidy, you just wonder, it gives the impression that maybe the person is not able to tidy things up. Comfortable footwear is fine, especially when we're always walking around, rushing around, using trains, running from one place to another. But what is not fine are bare feet, whether they're in slippers or sandals that are too casual. Uh, bare feet don't look professional at all. However trendy, however fashionable they may be, yes, there are bejeweled slippers that cost the earth, but they're great for times which you're not networking and not being a professional. Now, if you meet someone you want to impress and you happen to be in shorts, slippers and t-shirt, for example, they bumped into you uh, when you didn't expect to be seeing anyone and you're out doing you know, something for yourself, then the way you speak is going to counter your image. So then you speak graciously and less casually to counterbalance their perception. So they may think, oh yeah, okay, this person is in shorts and t-shirt, but when, when you, the way you, you project yourself will, will balance that casual atmosphere and it will carry your professional image across, okay? So these are some basic tips about being groomed well all the time.